In John's gospel, we read, among those who had come up to worship at the feast of the Passover were some Greeks, and they approached Philip, who was from Bethsaida, and put this request to them. Sir, we want to see Jesus. As we come to Holy Week and our Passover, we should like to see Jesus. Our Lenten journey was to introduce him to us on a deeper level. Many on the journey with us over the years have stopped along the way. Throughout Lent, I have been praying for their return to worship with us. Our society is characterized today by a religious diversity unknown in previous eras, but an even more dramatic change is an ever-increasing unreligious diversity. Large numbers of people have intentionally opted out of religion for a variety of reasons. Church leaders, parish staffs, and parishioners have lamented over the absence of commitment. Churches closing, diminishing resources, and the change in our culture. This is not a time to indulge ourselves in whining and worry. This is a time for repentance. Repentance begins when we admit that we have lost our bearings, veered off the path, for Jesus is the way to the Father. The church today seems to see itself as a victim of the culture. We complain that the culture doesn't give the church its proper place and that people have left the church down by not participating in church life. A victim mentality is crippling. It binds us both to our role in the plight and to the possibilities that lie before us. Perhaps we need to ask ourselves, does the culture hold more power than God who called the church into being? My suspicion is that the church has been so dependent on its privileged place within Western culture that it has lost some of its essence, its lifeblood, which flows not from accommodating society, but from the one who died in Calvary and rose again. We need to consider honestly our role in our current predicament. If we are to be freed of the paralysis of a victim mentality, and free to embrace the possibilities that lie before us, to take responsibility from our ways, old ways, to embrace a new way in the hope that lies before us.